Well, some young women struggle with shyness and confidence. So today in Coffee Group, we are talking about how we can help our daughters become leaders. One mentoring program is having great success. Here to tell us about it is Monica Briggs from the YWCA Auckland and Tola Olenriwaju, who has completed the program. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Let's start with you, Monica. Tell me about this program. Well, it's a program that's about women inspiring women. So it's a unique program in New Zealand. It's a four-year mentoring program to develop leadership skills in young women from low decile schools across Auckland. So it really is transformational because it targets girls that would otherwise just fly under the radar and just would not have this opportunity in life. Four years seems quite Four a long years. time. It is a long time. The first year they are spent um, building their confidence, getting them ready for the mentoring relationship. And then the following three years, they are teamed with a, a woman who becomes their mentor and they go through progressive um, development activities and camps and all kinds of things that are developed to build their confidence and increase their resilience, wow. which are key, Sounds key fantastic. to navigate life. Natalia, you've been through the program. What inspired you to sign up? Um, I think just as um, Monica was talking about the fact that I was going to be paired up with a mentor who was a strong um, um, module, a role module in the community who was, you know, had a job and was living quite a positive adult life. That really attracted me to the program as well as the opportunity to improve my confidence, um, to make new friends as well. So that's some of the pull factors for the program. How would you have said your confidence levels were at the beginning? Um, I think it was just about positive um, energy and being around the right people. So I was a little bit cheeky when I was much younger, but it was a good program to channel my energy and just use that in a more positive um, format. What do you think makes good leaders, Monica? Oh, look, people often ask me, what's the difference between leadership and management? And in a nutshell, leadership is doing the right things, management's doing them the right way. So when you think about that, it's around having a strong vision and being able to mobilise people with you to go towards that vision. It's about courage, you have to keep going when things get tough. You do. Uh, yeah, and you know, it is around being absolutely authentically yourself, um, not wearing a mask, um, knowing who you are, warts and all, and being able to mobilise the best out of people around you. That is quite some experience, I'm sure. I mean, to have good leaders, it's a, it's a quality. It really is. It's quite extraordinary. It is, and you've got to be determined. You know, when I think about really great leaders in life, they're really determined people. And I, we li I liken it to a tree. So it's a tree that's got big, deep roots that are intertwined with other roots rather than the tall poplar mm -hmm. in the field on their own. Yeah. So Tala, what did you get out of it? What was the, the main thing that you think you got out of this experience? Um, I think it's definitely having um, an, an, a role model outside of my own community, as I said before. Um, I'm, I'm very much involved in my, within the African community, so having working with someone of a different nationality and um, growing and learning from her was quite a significant experience. Um, we had such a positive relationship and a friendship that we're still in contact with each other after so long, so that's been a great um, influence in my life, and also knowing that it's okay um, to want to do different things and um, try new experiences and also having just that role model that you know has a bigger picture yeah. and being able to have that conversation with her about how things were going for me was qu pretty amazing. So what are you doing at the moment? So right now I'm working with Youthline, um, I'm an administrator for them, I'm working with a volunteer pathway helping and recruiting people that help on the helplines. Wow. Yeah. So what do you think both of you, what is the thing that we should be thinking about for parents watching at home who want to encourage their daughters to be assertive and confident, what should they be doing? Oh look, absolutely, every single parent wants their daughter to thrive and have yeah. boundless opportunities in life. And there's some really simple things you can do to build confidence and uh, increase resilience. So helping girls find their voice, so asking them to make choices and expressing their opinion and then honouring that. And I challenge every parent actually watching the show to make two non-appearance compliments to their daughters for every one they make on, on appearance. Mm -hmm. and and having a range of um, social skills and social confidence and the best way to build that for girls is to allow them to express a full range of emotions. Girls That's often get good. called bossy they do. <laughs> or stroppy um, and it's allowing those emotions. Allow the emotions. Yeah. Now just quickly, how can people get in contact if they want to become a mentor? Ah, if they contact us at the YWCA through our website www.akywca.org.nz Fabulous. Monica, Tola, thank you so much. You it has been an absolute pleasure for joining us today and to tell us about the Future Leaders Programme.